the treatment landscape for multiple myeloma is is ever evolving and uh, clearly the the biggest uh, impact in terms of myeloma treatment we've seen over the last two or three years is uh, the arrival of uh, the anti-CD20 antibody uh, daratumumab, which is now uh, really in prime time. Uh, it is an addition to any single treatment regime. We know that regimes such as VMP and RD in the elderly are enhanced by daratumumab therapy. We know that upfront therapy with VRD and VTD is potentially enhanced by daratumumab. So horizon scanning is that uh, daratumumab uh, is going to be part of uh, pretty much every frontline regime across the young and the elderly, the low and the high risk patients. Ahead of that, I think one of the most exciting things on the horizon is the anti-BCMA strategies. And clearly, uh, we have a number of uh, different uh, uh, anti-BCMA strategies. We have the CAR T-cell strategy. We have the antibody drug conjugate strategy. And we have BITE technologies. And these three different strands of attack using the anti-BCMA platform are really proving to be highly effective in patients with very difficult and resistant disease. I think anti-BCMA technologies will become very important over the next two to three years in multiple myeloma. The question then is which anti-BCMA platform is going to be the best? Uh, and I think that remains to be answered because we don't have uh, cross-trial comparisons and all of them look effective. So it then comes around to how we're we going to deliver this, which is the easiest and safest anti-BCMA technology to give to our patients. And where best do we use these uh, really fantastic technologies in the myeloma treatment pathway? So if I had two horizon scanning, my very simple answer would be that uh, daratumumab will be involved in all frontline reg regimens or wherever possible. Uh, we will see increasing use of quadruplet therapies, uh, certainly in younger, fitter patients, but also probably in fitter, older patients. And we are going to see anti-BCMA technologies uh, really uh, come into their own over the next two to three years.